Lovington, this is our children's service, and I am going to read from the book of Psalm chapter 96, verse 1 and verse 2. It says, Sing to the Lord a new song, sing to the Lord all the earth, sing to the Lord and praise his name, proclaim his salvation day after day, and do what? Declare his glory among the nations and his marvelous deeds among all people. What has God done for you this week, children? Has God protected you? Has God provided for you? Has God given you food to eat? God ni mpua sana. So let's praise him, let's worship him, and let's feel free in the presence of the Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray that you'll bless our service this day, even as we praise, worship, and also listen to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody shout. Amen. Amen. Praise God, children, there at home. Get some free space and get ready to praise the Lord and dance for Him. Ba, 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 ba.
let's exalt God. As we tell him, as we cry to him, whenever we pray to him. Because he always hears our prayers, whatever the situation that we are facing. God, because you listen to our prayers and children, you know you can pray to God and tell him anything. So for a very short time, just tell him thank you. Pray for anything you want to pray for, for your family, for your mother, for your father. Pray for your brother and sister. Pray for the church. Pray for the country. God always hears our prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you because you always listen to our prayers. We thank you, because even as we worshipped and sang, you've listened to our prayers this day. We give you all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Now it's time to listen.
listen to the word and I want to thank our worship team so much. Asante sana. Nitawagotia tukimaliza, si ndio? Good. You may have your seats. Now, let me welcome our teacher who we all know. He's called Teacher Charles. He's going to talk to us about two other Bible characters who I really don't understand sometimes. So, karibu sana Teacher Charles. We are so blessed you're here with us to speak to us. Uh, you need another stool. No, 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 stool. Yes, okay, let me stool. bring for you a stool. Thank you very Good. much. Good morning, children. Uh, we want to thank God uh, for the praise and worship team, which did some good work. So I want us to just uh, have our seats to relax and to get our Bibles, our notebooks, and uh, get ready to listen from the Word of God. Amen. So um, our previous teachers have taught us about some few Bible characters. We've learned about Noah. We've learned about Isaac. We've learned about Sarah. We've learned about um, those four characters. So today we want to add to another Bible character that we are ready to uh, hear from and see what are some of the things that they did that we can learn from them and what are some of the good things or bad things that they did that we can do or not do. But before we do that, I want to start by asking you a question. The f what would you do? What would you do if your brother or your sister really needed you to help them, but there is this one tiny thing that you love so much, but they have it, but you don't have it. But this time they need your help, but they have something that you need, you need they have, but you don't have. What would you do? The que second question is, would you forgive someone if they took some, something from you which is really, really, really important, like your most valuable toy or your most valuable book? Would you forgive them? Then the third question is, have you ever felt so bad, so, so, so bad, hungry, that you wanted to take a revenge for something uh, 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 a child from your school or your brother or your sister has done to you? Have you ever felt so bad that you wanted to take a revenge? So as we've, we've, we've learned from our previous characters, I want us to continue, and I don't know who can guess what today's Bible character is, because as we can see, we started from Noah, and we went to Abraham, we went to Isaac, we went to Sarah. Who can guess who this next Bible character is? Okay, I will tell you our Bible character for this lesson. But before I do that, let me give you a story so that I know if you can guess after this story. Now, many, many years, many, many years ago, uh, there lived a man. And this man was, uh, 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 got married. And this man wanted to have children, but he was, could not have children because the wife was not able to uh, get pregnant. And so he prayed to God, and uh, God blessed him with two babies, two boys. So I don't know who can guess from there who these two boys that I'm talking about are. Now, uh, God blessed him with two boys, and uh, uh, the, the lady gave birth to two these uh, boys. The, there was the first born, born and the second born. And so... The children grew and fa the father fa loved the firstborn so much because he used to be a hunter. And so he used to bring meat to him and so he loved to have that sweet meat that the firstborn brought. Then we, ha we had the secondborn who, was, who just used to stay at home and take care of the things at home and the mother used to love him so much. I don't know who can guess that character and that character that we are talking about is none other than Jacob and Esau. So the mother that we are talking about is Rebecca and the father is Isaac. So Jacob and Esau were the two children that God blessed uh, those two parents with. That is Isaac and Rebecca. And so 
they st continued growing, growing, and one day, I want to give you another story, one day, a sow went to hunt, and, I, uh, and, and Jacob was at home, and he prepared some very, very nice, nice meal, some very nice stew. And so Esau went and tried to hunt, but he could not get something. And he came home and he was very, very hungry. He felt he needed to have some food. But there was a problem. Jacob, who was the second born, who was, who was born, who was the second born, was the one who had prepared the meal. And so he told him, because you are the first born, before I give you this nice stew that you would like so much, you have to give me something. Before I give it to you, you have to give me something. And so Esau said, okay, what do you want? And he said, I want your birthright. I want to be like the firstborn instead of being the secondborn. And so Esau was like, okay, I am so hungry. I just need food. I don't want to die. I just need, just give me the food. And Jacob told him, no, you have to swear. Just swear that you'll, I'll be the firstborn. And Esau said, okay, you can be the firstborn. And so he gave him the, the, the lentils stew and some bread, and he fed and he walked away. So they continued, and their father, who can guess who their father was? Isaac was becoming very, very old. And he said, he decided that I need to bless my firstborn. Because according to the, the, the culture, the firstborn was to inherit and to be blessed by the father because he would take care of the whole family. Now remember that Isaac, uh, uh, that Isaac with the father, knew that Esau was the firstborn and was the one who was supposed to be blessed and because he loved his meat. And so he called Esau and told him, hey, yo, come. Go and hunt and bring me some, come and prepare me some nice uh, 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 wild game meat and then I'll bless you. And so Rebecca, who is the mother of the two boys, heard that and said, and she said, um, because I love my firstborn so much, I need him to get blessed. And so what did, they, what did she do? She went to Jacob and told him, we need to plan on how you will get the blessing instead of Esau. And so, because Esau was hairy, he was hairy from his body, and his father, his eyes were getting old, he could not uh, really see who it was. So, the mother planned with Jacob to go and kill, two goat, to, to kill a goat and then prepare a nice stew and bring to Isaac to come and bless Jacob. And so it happened. And so they clothed the, uh, the, 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 the uh, Jacob with the clothes of Esau. And so when the father touched him, and he, uh, he was like, okay, the sound sounds, uh, the, the voice sounds like Jacob, but when I touch you, it's like Esau. And so he blessed Esau, uh, Jacob instead of Esau. And so, so Esau came in and he was like, Father, I have prepared some nice food for you, so bless me. And so the father told him, oh, no, son, I've already blessed, I have already blessed you. So he thought that he had blessed a sow, and yet he had blessed uh, Jacob. And so a sow was very, very hungry, very mad, very, very mad. And he, he planned in his heart and said, immediately, Isaac, my dad dies. I am going to kill my brother. I am going to finish him. And so the mother heard, Rebecca heard, and she planned on how Isaac could escape and go away to his uncle Laban. Now, all this story, we can get our Bibles and read them from uh, Genesis chapter 25, verse 19 to 34. And Genesis chapter 37, uh, uh, chapter 27, you can get to read all that story and understand it even more. So, what, what are some of the things that we see from that story? That, I, uh, that ja uh, Jacob took advantage of Esau when he was angry, instead of just helping him out because he wanted something else from him. 
The second thing that we see from that is Jacob, Jacob deceived or lied. He cheated a sow for his birthright and even lied to his father that I am, I am a sow that you are supposed to bless and so the father blessed him. The third thing that we see from this story is that a sow hated and held a very, very bad grudge with Jacob that he even wanted to kill him. So, what are some of the things that we learn from this story? Now, as I had told you from the starting of the story, the first story is that uh, God had already uh, planned that Abraham would have many children and that it was through Isaac and his generation, which was through Jacob, that the Israel generation would be brought up. And so God had already planned that it was Jacob, uh, it was uh, uh, Jacob who was supposed to be uh, later called Israel, as we will continue to learn from our next story. So number two, what we learn from that story is that as children, as children, we need to help, we should help our brothers and our sisters when they need our help without demanding them to do something for us. Just help them. Number three, God wants us to forgive our brothers, our sisters, our friends when they do something that is not, that we do not like. We need to forgive them and not plot to harm them or revenge against them. So how are we going to apply the, uh, what, this lesson that we've learned from here today? So as brothers and sisters, we need to live with harmony. We need to love one another. We need to help each other. We need to forgive one another. But most importantly, we need to pray for our brothers and sisters. So as we finish, I want you to pray with me this prayer. Our Lord, we pray for our brothers and sisters. Help uh, us to love them always. Help us to forgive them always. Help us to ask for forgiveness when we are, when we are wrong. Amen. Now, our memory verse comes from, you can write this from Genesis, uh, uh, from Psalms, Psalms chapter 135 and verse 4. And very quickly I'll say it. The Lord has chosen Jacob to be his own, Israel to be his own possession. Now, as we finish our lesson, let us think about those lessons that we've learned. Let me pray for us. Our Lord, our God, we thank you. We bless you for our lesson today. We pray as children, Lord, we will love one another, Lord. We will not revenge against one another, Lord. We will share what we have, Lord, without demanding anything from our brothers and sisters. We thank you and we bless you. And everyone say, Amen. Now, uh, as we finish our service, I want to thank all the parents. I want to thank all the guardians. I uh, want to welcome you. Uh, our Sunday school is open, and we can uh, let our children come to church. Our church starts uh, exactly at 10.30 a.m. 10.30 a.m. Thank you, and welcome, and God bless you all. Hello, everyone. My name is Teacher Gideon. My name is Teacher Me. And we have just learned about Esau and Jacob. And Jacob, as you know, he had how many sons? Twelve sons. Can you mention each and every son of Jacob? No, Gideon, it is so hard to mention twelve names just like that. Sure, sure. And so, boys and girls, we are going to learn from this song on how to memorize the sons of Jacob from the first one to the last one. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Number one, Reuben. Number two, Simeon. Three is for Levi and for Judah. Five is Dan. Six, Naphtali. Seven is Gad and Detasha. Issachar nine, Zebulun ten. Eleven, Joseph and twelve, Benjamin. And they had one sister. And her name was called Dina. So, now boys and girls, I hope you've gotten the flow. 
Now I want you to sing the song with us. Okay, are you ready? One, two, three, go. Number one, Ruben. Number two, Simeon. Three is for Levi and for Judah. Five is Dan. Six, Naphtali. Seven is Gad and Betasha. Sakana, Zebulun ten, eleven Joseph and twelve Benjamin, and they had one sister, and her name was called Dina. I hope you've gotten the song. Now I want you to go and teach yourself to memorize these uh, sons of Jacob throughout this week. Okay, boys and girls. Bye bye. See you. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching our service. We are so grateful that you decided to join us today. If you were blessed by our sermon, we want to ask that you would consider sharing this message with your friends, your family, your co-workers, anybody that the Lord leads you to share it with. We also would like you to consider supporting our ministry by any donations that the Lord places on your heart to give. Our details are on the screen. Lastly, give us a follow on our social media platforms and join us on for our services every Sunday from 10.30 a.m., 11.45, and 1 p.m. respectively. We hope to see you here with us. God bless you. See you soon.